Hi everyone, this is Praveen Dure from DICE University and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the introduction of Quack Rush Push Traffic Network Tutorial. Let's go! Welcome to today's video where we are making a review on the Quack Rush Push traffic network. So this is actually a network based on Norway. As you can see over here, they're actually based on Norway. And this is a network which caters for both advertisers as well as for publishers. So before we go in further, let's just give a little bit introduction on the plug rush. The plug rush is a traffic source known for providing high quality traffic since the year 2007. So they have been in the market for almost 13 years. So they have been in the market for quite some time. But the major part of the traffic that you will find in the plug rush is actually adult traffic. So you can actually go ahead and run a campaign. And if your offer is like dating, adult content, adult print smith, uh, or adult gaming, this is one of the best networks to be in and they are top geos for their adult pop under traffic for example so US Italy for now Italy would be bad but then US France this is the common one guys Denmark uh, India and all this kind of stuff there's also mainstream pop under traffic available for US Spain UK and all this kind of stuff so this is where you can actually go ahead and run your sweepstakes offer and and recently the plug rush also uh, launched the the push notification which is available for both adult and mainstream traffic uh, so they do have like few ad formats like banners native redirects and push right now so we are going to take a look at the push even though in the plug rush most dominant traffic source or ad network that they have is actually pop and adult pop so they, they are concentrated on that but we are going to look on their push side guys so this is actually how their website looks like so welcome to the plug rush a powerful yet simple solution for digital marketing so yeah, it's rather than being a little bit professional they try to be a little bit like a kiddo when this this drawing is like very bad but then oh frank hello frank hello what well, that's funny so basically it's like very simple but uh that's for advertisers and publishers as well so you can actually click and they would they will be led into that particular page this particular page for advertisers as well as publisher we will take a look at this in a while so basically let's take a look at the home page first so basically what they say is buy traffic or you can sell traffic so if you're an advertiser you buy traffic if you sell traffic you are a publisher and you can actually trade traffic as well this is mostly traffic rb trade if i'm not mistaken so grow your audience by joining our trade program to trade high quality click traffic wow nice so this is their latest news as you can see they do have a blog and their latest blog was updated february 13 2020 so i won't say that they are very up in trend because this month they have not uploaded anything yet but i would i would also consider the coronavirus and all these kind of stuff so basically this is something that you should consider but if you scroll down and you see their guides their latest guide is only on the november 26th on 2019 which means that is correct guys they are not very very good in updating so they are you're not considering them to be one of the uh networks which is in really really up in trend and their website is like very simple like i told you it's like very childish it's not professional at all but it's very simple and straightforward so you can go to the advertiser section over here let's go to the publisher section before you go to the advertiser section even though we are not concentrating on the publisher section so sell traffic enjoy 99 percent field rate premium rates for publisher real-time statistics so they do have internal tracker on-time payment quick setup safety first okay let's go to the advertiser where we are going to take a look at so high volumes deep targeting well we're going to check out this later on conversion tracking we are not going to use this but we're going to talk about this as well auto optimization so behavioral targeting wow well, this is great. 
with retargeting, you can increase your ROI by receiving high value user back to your campaign. This is something that I really hope to check out within their campaign builder later on. So the security, cost control and support center. So they do have a support center. So let's go ahead and register yourself into the plug rush and take a look at the plug rush. I've already registered myself into the plug rush. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in into the plug rush and check out the dashboard for myself. So once you have actually logged in, this is how the plug rush looks like. So you, there's a lot of pop-ups guys. So the trade program is like one of their trading uh, methods. Uh, one of the uh, highlights, I think the trade program is something that I've not heard anywhere else. So you can actually go ahead and watch this thing, but we are going to ignore it for a while. So their page looks like a very, very childish page, but then it's it, it does have a very, very high originality within itself. You can actually see, uh, you cannot see other pages like this, but this is something that I don't like for both for publishers and advertisers it's uh, it's here even though when you're actually registering they actually ask whether you're an advertiser or publisher they do have the same dashboard for the advertiser and publisher as well so this is something that which i feel is very bad it's not something that they should have they should actually segregate this so let's go ahead and check out the account so first thing is the account so there's a lot of sections over here profile security so let's see the security so let's go and see one so they do have like uh they're very keen on their security they do have like authentications google authenticator wow nice so they're very strict with their security yes it feels so this is like their profile so it's my profile so this is the payment so what type of payment you can actually load or withdraw funds credit card minimum deposit is 25 dollars paypal can 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 minimum deposit is ten dollars wire transfer so this is something very unique guys so i've never seen something like this so yes minimum deposit is five hundred dollars Paxum minimum deposit is ten dollars <laughs> this is a very unique way of showing it so they do have like notification settings preference and api so api if you're like i always tell when you talk about api if you are a developer or if you know how to code and all this kind of stuff or if you even know what is api definitely you can actually utilize the api section over here to make your life much more easier Easy, but unfortunately I'm not a developer and I do know how to code as well as I have no idea what API is I, I mean I know what API is uh, because I'm running another company which is like related to tech but then I, I have no idea how to do it so basically that's about it guys so over here is what's new so there's a news over here support over here so if you click on the support it I think it goes to yep it's like a support center FAQ section over here uh, over here you can actually support ticket live support that you have well wow, it's great so let's go back to the website and the front page so the front page so if you hit the front page you will be led to the home page itself so that's that's how funny this plug rush is it's totally different guys so i would really really salute them because of their originality but it's something which is really different so they do have like performance monitor over here you can't click on this feedback form they do have a feedback form as well so over here they have like four sections so they do have referral programs let's see what is the referral program with so the referral program is blah, blah, blah. This is your referral ID, but they did not say how much is your referral program. Mm -hmm. Important parts are not there. So let's see, is it over here? Nope, this is your statistic. Nope, there's no referral program. So this is the trade program that they do have, trade traffic. Uh, this is not something that we're gonna take a look at. It's like their specialty, I think, running the trade traffic, which is a uh, most probably uh, traffic arbitrage. So we here in the publisher section. Oh, no. So this is actually the advertiser section. So uh, the sell traffic is the publisher section where you can actually go ahead and add a website and then you can monetize the website here. So you can also see the statistics of your monetization of your website if you already add a website. So let's go ahead to the advertiser section, which is our section. So there's like one, two, three, four, five five sections let's go ahead one by one guys so let's go to the first one campaign and statistic basically this is about creating campaign so uh we'll be coming back to this later so you can create your creatives differently you can create banners you can create for push ads over here so i think you can create your um creatives via 
the campaign itself as well but this is you can create your creatives here as well so over here you can actually filter your traffic so you can actually create a list where you can actually blacklist or whitelist certain things source website IP address and all this kind of stuff uh -huh. so this is the part that we was very excited with retargeting so to have retargeting you need to have people in your landing page that means you need to have pixel Definitely you need to have pixel that you need to add from this particular plug rush into your landing page. If don't worry guys, it might be a little bit complicated when I say it this way. But if you join the Dice University, we explain step by step on how you can actually copy the pixel and add it into your click funnels and add it into your AWS and all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things going on with Dice University, guys. So don't miss out. That's what I will say. And over here is the price list. So this is like the rate card from not mistaken mostly adult as you can see the first concentrate is adult so mainstream push ads so let's go for malaysia malaysia is one of the top so the minimum cpc is okay good average cpc is also good so you can actually see the traffic size and all this kind of stuffs within this so this is this works like a rate cut so let's go to the campaign section and i want to see whether within the campaign section itself we can actually do the creatives or not so I don't think we can do the creatives. Let's just go ahead with the step by step within the campaign itself. So this is how it looks like. So like I told you, test. Let's just start building our campaign. Like I told you, their audience are mainly on adult traffic. This is like their main thing. So we want to target mainstream uh, delivery method is desktop maybe. Yes, push ads. So if you put the uh, desktop, there's still push ads. So we want push ads. So like I told you, yeah, this is why you actually create a content for your push ad. So you have no push ad, so create a content. So let me just create it. So to create a content, you will be having to go back to the creative section as well. So this is, this is actually a very big hassle. And personally, I think it's like very bad because um, why do you have to go back to the creative section? It's bad, guys. It's really bad. Uh, it makes things a little bit complicated. But for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and just do it. I hope they they don't uh, they do have resizing over here itself. So icons are supported for push traffic. Blah blah blah. Okay, this is the icon. This is the image. Okay okay i got it i got it i got it man so i'm going to do uh what's this so oh this is our creative so this is where our creative would be so let's upload we have already uploaded an image so let's upload our icon for example so we have uploaded an icon so they do resize it automatically within the ai so this is something which i like as well so it's here the description one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's a little bit hassle guys but okay oh this is the title sorry so the description would be what happened if you see a rate cut title one two three maybe so description test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so URL, your offer URL is something that you'll put over here or you can actually go ahead and put your landing URL as well. So I'm just going to put a Clickbank URL for the purpose of this video over here. So I'm just going to paste it over here so everything looks good. But why we can't create? So the title field must at least be 10 characters. So the title can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now we can actually go ahead and create this. So create all. So creating creatives. Wow. So we have successfully created a creative. Basically, I think that's it. Now what? Now we go back to the campaign and do back everything. Please don't say that. Oh my god, we have to do back everything. So that's a big hassle, guys. So this is actually something which I don't like. Personally, I think it's very bad. So okay, now we have actually created. So your creative must be approved first before you actually assign it but we're gonna assign this whatever said and done so you can actually see over here your push ad uh, pending stuff will review and not serve your campaign until your push ads are approved so you can actually preview the ads i think no you can't preview the ads which is bad so there's also section over here which i did not see just now itself so uh okay 
I think let us finish this on oh, no. a Let's, let, let us do this as well. So, spending mode evenly, not immediately. Daily budget $10, minimum bid. Okay, everything looks good already. Uh, targeting, let's go ahead and check out the targeting. It's pretty confusing, right? The stuff's over here. So, we're going to do Malaysia. Malaysia only. Oops. What the hell? So, we're going to select Malaysia alone. Language, we're going to do. This is pretty, pretty hassle, guys. Orientation. Oh, verticals. So, verticals is all operating system. Okay. Pretty much very basic operating system. Pretty much very basic browsers as well. Web view. Specific whether you like to target web views. What is web views? A website browser built into a mobile app. Mm -hmm. So you can allow or disallow this. So you can do web views alone. So connection type. It's also a very basic type of targeting. So there's nothing much here, guys. So options, distribution. So we want to unlimited source. So we want to active our campaign as soon as possible and force traffic. Allow campaign to receive traffic from both adult and traffic. No, I only want mainstream. So schedule, you can schedule your campaign over here if you want to. Retargeting, I was like pretty sure about this retargeting. But unfortunately, I don't know where you can actually go ahead and add the pixel and all this kind of stuff. So you need to create a retargeting, right? You need to add a pixel and all this stuff. So if you have a pixel, you have a pixel installed in your landing page and all this kind of stuff, then you can actually go ahead and put this retargeting. So whitelist, normal, blacklist, it's normal. You can either whitelist sources, uh, IP address and all this kind, and you can do the same thing for, you can do the same thing for blacklist as well. So basically that's about it guys. It's pretty simple, but uh, it's not straightforward at all. It's pretty complicated and it's like very, very basic. And so all you gotta do is just go ahead and hit the create by campaign button and your campaign would be successful and would be processed for the verification. So once your campaign is verified, then you can go ahead and run your campaign so basically that's about it guys my summary about plug rush is i would say that if you are a beginner affiliate marketer or a media buyer definitely avoid plug rush uh if you're an experienced affiliate marketer media buyer definitely avoid plug rush as well so basically if you got nothing to do with their adult content if i think they're very good with their adult they're very popular i've heard their name plug rush when it comes to adult traffic so if you are into the adult traffic then you can actually go ahead and use them if not just avoid them because there's different networks there's a lot of other networks that you can actually use which is much 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 more beneficial than this pretty much that's my personal opinion guys um there's one feature regarding the uh, uh trade traffic over here which is i think it's regarding trade arbitrage or uh, traffic arbitrage sorry so you, if you are interested in that as well you can go ahead and check out the plug rush other than that don't even take a look at this plug rush guys it's not worthy at all so basically that's about it in today's video i really hope that today's video was beneficial for you thanks for watching everybody i'll be seeing you in the next one but before i go allow me to introduce the dice university forum whether you are trying to make your first conversion on ClickBank or scale your campaigns to six figures, the Dice University Forum offers you exactly what you need, like high-quality landing page templates, detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.